one down here and one down here. Uh, I need to get command blocks too. Man, I'm forgetting a lot of things. Slash give at p command underscore block. Wow. Damn. Slash give at p. Oh man, I forgot how to spell command. Command. Damn it! Command underscore block. Stop trying to type so fast, random. Hey guys, my name is Random, and welcome to another Redstone slash Command Block tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to make these amazing auto-equippers that literally never run out. These are absolutely critical for basically mini-games. Yeah, you could use these for mini-games so that, well, you could equip your players nice and fast. And what's good about this is that, once I press this button just to equip myself, it's fast, and it also lets you equip these... Enchanted weapons or enchanted armor, which you can't do with just slash give. It also gives you healing potions. Yay! So, yeah, how do we do this? First, you have to build it exactly like this. As you can see, it's just dispensers and or droppers placed in this formation. Well, exactly, I'll build it. I'll build it for you. Just wait. So, yeah, here... You just need a few bits of redstone, some iron blocks, and glowstone. The glowstone is absolutely necessary for this because there's a glitch wherein you could pass redstone dust on glowstone, which helps it a whole lot in making it more compact. Yay, redstone hacks. So, what you do first is that you put a dispenser, you put your glowstone there. Well, not really. Just put any block there. And then any block at the side, really. And then try to surround yourself. You can't put droppers if you don't want the things to like hit you. Like with the potions. But for now, to keep things simple, I'm just using dispensers. So, I have to replace that dispenser. The trick is with the last dispensers that you place a block up here. Covering it. And placing a dispenser right over there. So it's facing downwards. Break these. Oh no, I forgot something. Yeah, you're supposed to put a pressure plate right in the middle. Right in the muddle. Any pressure plate would do. So I'm 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 feeling pretty fancy right now, so I'm using that kind of pressure plate. So placing the other dispenser right over. Oh man, how am I going to do this? I'm just going to have to do it all over again, am I? Yep, I am. So put it back here. Filling the dispensers again. Doing the trick again because I messed up. And there. So yeah. Afterwards, you place a repeater there. Redstone. I mean, yeah, redstone repeater. Put some redstone on the glowstone. So here's the glitch. So it still powers that even though it's on. And it powers this thing up here. Break, break. Now, down, down here. Another one down here. And one down here. Ah, I need to get command blocks too. Man, I'm forgetting a lot of things. Slash, give, at P. Command underscore block. Damn. Slash give at p command. Oh man, I forgot how to spell command. Command underscore block. Damn it. Give at p command. Underscore block. Stop trying to type so fast, random. Won't get you anywhere. 
Okay, so one, two. That's for a slash clone your slash tp command. So yeah, once you're done with this, you place it here. It's absolutely necessary once again, mandatory, that you have three repeaters on full ticks when doing the command blocks. And this is basically it. You place this thing on chain and always active, preferably conditional, and right over there. That's how you build the thing. So the commands needed for this is basically a slash clone command. First is a slash TP, which TPs you. What it does is that it TPs you back here, right in front of the button thing. You could put the TP anywhere, but that's supposed to happen like right after you equip the armor. So yeah. The second block here is slash clone. So what you do is that after you built that thing, you slash clone it. So the two points are right up top here. This one goes first, and this one goes second. And once that does happen, you clone it up to a nearby area, which is here. And yeah. Afterwards, you set the new TP command, another TP command, right inside the chamber. For example, right over here. And then what it does is that, once it does work, it clones it right in that direction. It clones even the command block, so the command is still cloned. And what happens is that, it'll, steep, it'll still keep all the items in the dispenser, so they'll never run out. As you can see, there's like one helmet in there, and a bunch of other stuff. Let me equip them all. And it's instantly equipped. I forget that. That happens with armor that you can't really equip it once you have equipped armor. Okay, so here, once again, there, after removing all my armor, I have re-equipped all my armor, along with my enchanted boots, my trident, and splash potion of healing. Yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like down below. Maybe subscribe, because I need to keep these coming. And, I mean, you don't want to miss my PvP map. This is going to have this and a bunch of other stuff, like... I don't know, it's going to be like Overwatch, but Minecraft, pretty much, yeah. Anyways, guys, if you're looking for random, remember that he's right this way. Goodbye!